What's going on everybody? Welcome back for another amazing episode of Zach's Airstream Adventure. On episode 12, we are preparing to finish the entire frame. Stay tuned. All right, everybody, as you can see behind me here, the frame is back in the driveway and I'm getting ready to power wash it. So I'm doing this just to eliminate anything that is uh, you know, sitting on the surface of the metal and just to prepare it for tomorrow when all of the uh, coating supplies arrives. So I'm gonna get to work and I'll see you guys in a bit. As I am waiting for this frame to dry, I'm going to utilize this time to go ahead and make my way over to Lowe's to get some uh, supplies. Now I'm probably not going to be using these supplies on episode 12, but it might give you a little bit of a sneak peek as to what's going to happen in future episodes. So some of the things I'm going to need to pick up, which you'll see, uh, I need to get some 4x8 sheets of plywood, which is going to be my sub flooring. I'm going to need six of those. I need to get uh, some sealant and some insulation. Uh, both of those things are gonna be for the subfloor. I also need to get some fasteners that are gonna allow me to fasten the subfloor through and into the frame in multiple locations, as you're gonna see. I also need to pick up a rivet gun and some rivets. So, I'm gonna go do that right now and I will see you all at Lowe's. What's up y'all, here at Lowe's and I, uh, found a guy not sure what he's doing over there but I want to show you some of the things that we picked up we got the rivet gun it's two and a half feet got some rivets exactly. it's two and a half three feet. eighths and uh, I got some some of these boys two so uh, we're gonna keep searching and we'll uh, keep y'all updated yep see ya the next pickup here in Lowe's is this stuff called Reflectix. This is this is going to go underneath the subflooring. All right, everybody, we have everything that we need thus far inside of the cart. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, grab some plywood. We need six of them. It's going to make up the entire subfloor. So we're going to do that right now, right and now. I'll see y'all in a bit. Right now. All the supplies have been purchased and we'll see everybody back at the house after we load everything up. See you in a bit. What's up y'all? The paint's here. I'm super excited. I'm grabbing some food, but here comes the paint. Yeah! Literally been waiting all day for this stuff to arrive. It's finally here. Here's all my other supplies. And right, I'm gonna eat and then we're gonna get to work. What's going on everybody? As you can see, excitement is at a high and I am very ready to get this frame sealed up and completed once and for all. So this right here is the three-step solution that I'm gonna be using to get the job done. Uh, this stuff right here is called Pour 15, that's paint over rust 15. I've heard of great things, I've seen great things, and it is expensive, but it should hopefully keep the frame sealed up for a lifetime. So this is how it's gonna work. I'm gonna use this stuff right here, it's some uh, cleaner degreaser. I'm gonna apply this to the entire frame and it's gonna hopefully uh, clean it up. Then I'm gonna so that, that stuff's going to stay on there for 15 minutes or so, and then I'll hose it off. Then I'm going to use this stuff, which is metal prep. 
and essentially I'm gonna want to keep the frame wet for at least 15 minutes with uh, this metal prep and it's gonna help to etch the metal and prepare it for the pour 15. So once the first two steps are complete, I can then add on the actual pour 15. So that's what you're about to watch and uh, I'm very excited to be at this point in the project and uh, I'll let you guys enjoy. Alright everybody, as you can see, the frame has been cleaned and degreased. Now, I'm gonna let it dry for 15 minutes after that rinse, and then it's time for the metal prep, which is right there. Alright, we'll let it dry and we'll get back to work. What's going on everybody? The metal prep layer has officially dried and we're now ready to apply the pour 15. I got my tools and we're ready to go to work. Let's do it. There we have it. As you can see, and as you just saw, the frame has been completely sealed with that pour 15. It's very, very late at night. I'm disgusting, this stuff is all over me. And uh, there's no better way to end season one, episode 12, than to have a completely sealed frame. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Thank you for watching this. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. And I'd like to thank you guys once again for coming with me and tuning in with me on this amazing adventure. If you like what you're watching and if you're enjoying what you're seeing, please like this video and subscribe. Feel free to share it with your friends and family. I would really, really appreciate it and I'm sure they would as well. So with that all being said, thank you guys once again and this wraps it up. See you on the next one.